What's up and welcome to the video. My name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, and creator of SIBO Shortcut, the ultimate solution for eliminating small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and regaining control of your digestive health and vitality. As someone who struggled for eight years during the time that I had SIBO, trust me when I say I get it when talking about bloating being the most annoying thing ever. While there are some useful existing options that can help with bloating, not all current treatment options are going to be effective for everybody and therefore discovering new supplements, treatments, approaches that can be effective in helping with bloating and abdominal distension is obviously very exciting or at least exciting to me and maybe you if you're watching this. This 2023 study by the Journal of Digestive Diseases and Sciences was literally just published three weeks ago on November 3rd. It's titled Efficacy and Safety of Pea Protein and Xyloglucan versus Simethicone in Functional Abdominal Bloating and Distension. Sounds interesting. So what what is functional abdominal bloating and distension? It's characterized by recurrent symptoms such as abdominal fullness, a feeling of pressure, the sensation of trapped gas, and or a measurable increase in abdominal girth. Symptoms vary in severity throughout the day, worsening during the day, and stabilizing at night, and they can be exacerbated by poor lifestyle. So basically, even though this bloating and digestive symptoms don't necessarily show up on lab reports, they can really affect quality of life negatively and even limit the daily activities that you feel like doing. Bloating and distension are technically one of the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, aka IBS, along with constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, discomfort, and flatulence and gas. Okay, now we know what functional distension and bloating is. What are these products that I mentioned that are going to be looked at in this study? First, we have pea protein, which is pretty self-explanatory, and number two is a substance called xyloglucan. I'll be totally honest, this is not something that I've heard of before, but it's a special type of plant starch that is derived from tamarind seeds. Xyloglucan glucan is a hemicellulose, which is a type of starch found in the primary cell walls of all vascular plants. These are plants that have basically circulatory systems to transport nutrients and is part of the human diet. Thanks to its mucin-like molecular structure, xyloglucan forms a protective film on the intestinal epithelium that can increase the resistance of the mucosa to intestinal pathogens and allow the restoration of normal intestinal function. So what this is saying is, it seems like from previous studies, xyloglucan may have the ability to make it more difficult for bacteria to attach to the lining of the intestine, thus potentially helping with SIBO. And they've also found in previous studies that this substance may make it more likely for people to be able to recover from leaky gut, especially used in combination with pea protein. Pretty interesting, right? Okay, now we know what xyloglucan is and what it does. This study had a few main objectives. The first, which is the main goal, which was to determine if pea protein and xyloglucan used together were safe for humans. And the other secondary goal were to determine if pea protein and xyloglucan used together were helpful in improving the symptoms of functional abdominal bloating and distension. And lastly, to determine if xyloglucan and pea protein used together were effective in reducing SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So looking for a variety of different things in this study, let's take a look at the results. There was a total of 90 people in this study divided into two groups. The first group was given the xyloglucan and pea protein in capsule form. The other group was given simethicone, which is the active ingredient in Gas X, a common over-the-counter product. They were given these capsules three times a day for a total of 20 days. In terms of safety, no adverse events, serious adverse events, or serious unexpected adverse events were reported, which is great. As for the results involving symptoms, these got a little more interesting. When looking at abdominal distension, how far the stomach sticks out. At day 20, abdominal circumference decreased by an average of 4.7 centimeters for the xyloglucan and pea protein compared to 1.8 eight centimeters for simethicone. So on average, people that were using the xyloglucan and pea protein experienced their belly shrinking 2.9 centimeters on average more or 1.14 inches than the people that were using simethicone, which is pretty considerable. As for other symptoms for bloating and abdominal pain, patients reported on their questionnaires, which is a subjective form of obtaining data, that they did get significantly more relief from the xyloglucan pea protein than they did from simethicone. And then finally, flatulence or passing gas was actually not significantly reduced by neither the xyloglucan pea protein group or the simethicone group, which is a little bit ironic because simethicone is gas X. And then lastly, the results for SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. To be honest, I had a difficult time determining what to make of these SIBO results because the criteria they were using in terms of how they were doing the breath test, what sugar substrates they were using, and what level of gas they were determining to be diagnostic of SIBO is, was different than what I'm used to using. But to share the results, 
of the before and after looking at hydrogen breath test, which is the common way to test for SIBO. After 20 days of treatment, it seems like xyloglucan P protein reduced hydrogen gas about 8.5 parts per million, which you can see on this chart here, whereas Symethico only reduced hydrogen gas around two parts per million. So while this is a noticeable improvement in the hydrogen gas score at only 8.5 parts per million reduction after 20 days, I'm not really convinced just yet that this is a robust treatment for SIBO. As I alluded to earlier, there's obviously a lot of variables here, and therefore I'd love to see some other studies done on this topic before I can form more of an opinion on whether this product is helpful for SIBO. After researching this study and other related studies, xyloglucan and pea protein certainly seems like a promising substance to be able to help with a variety of different symptoms and even potentially SIBO, especially because combining the xyloglucan and pea protein seems to be able to, one, help address the root cause of abdominal bloating and distension, two, does not seem to have adverse effects, and three, it's not even a pharmaceutical, it's just a special type of starch with pea protein. The combination of these two ingredients has already been studied to be effective for certain skin issues, and there does seem to be products commercially available to help with these topical issues. However, after a moderate amount of searching, I haven't been able to see a commercially available product that's available in oral form yet. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But this study didn't reference any particular product, and I haven't been able to find one. The only oral xyloglucan product that I have found is a product called A-Protocol, also referenced as APT036 in studies. It comes from an Italian company, and this product is marketed for colic in infants. This product contains xyloglucan, lactobacillus ruteri, and bifidobacterium brevis, the latter two being probiotic strains. It does not contain pea protein. There was a similar study done with this A protocol product by the Journal of Translational Gastroenterology and Hepatology back in 2018 that yielded somewhat similar results to this study when looking at functional bloating. So it makes sense that more research is being done on these ingredients to see in what capacities they can be helpful. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. I post a new full-length video every Monday and YouTube shorts throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.